Hello, it's William Haynes with Sabai Technology. It is great to have you here today. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a stock link sys router to run DDWRT. So the first thing I want to do, I want to show you that my wireless is not connected. I open the local area connect properties and under version 4 IP, I'm going to set up two addresses. One is 192.168. 1.10. That is so I can communicate with the stock Linksys address of 1.1 on the router. And under advanced, I'm going to add an address. Most of you will not have to do this. Of 199.10 because I'm going to set it up to the stock address we send out um, Sabai Technology modified routers to. So I'll show you that later on. Go ahead and click OK. I have all the stuff. We should be set. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the plug in the router now and open Google Chrome. And let's try going to the stock Linksys address, which is 192.168.1.1. Username is blank. The password is admin. We're going to log in. There's the Linksys router. You can see it's a WRT54GS2. And under administration, I'm going to do a firmware upgrade. I'm going to choose the VX Works Killer dash GS2V1 bin. I downloaded that from the DDWRT site. Under this router model number, you have to be very careful that you're doing it with the correct model number. Um, otherwise, you might end up with a brick, and that is no fun. Brick is basically one of these routers that you've messed up, and it is useful for nothing more than a brick when you're done with it. So I'm upgrading. This will wipe out the the operating system that Linksys put on there, which is a VX Works operating system. When you're finished, the light on the router will go black, and then it'll start blinking the power light. It'll go black, it'll start blinking, and then it'll go solid. Once it goes solid, you can run TFTP. The file we're using is DDWRT version 24, 10709-NewD micro. Uh, we've had great luck with that. It creates a solid router. So we've upgraded the flash. Once you do that, you can go ahead and close. The router will reboot. When the router reboots, and it'll do this on its own. You don't have to unplug it. You don't have to do anything with it. Now, again, this is specific to this model, the WRT54GS2. When it reboots, uh, the way that you know that it's ready for you to do anything with it is that the wireless light will come on. So right now I'm looking at it, there's a solid power light, but there is no wireless uh, light yet. Once I see that wireless light, I know it's good. Normally when this router is rebooting, the power light goes black, then it blinks when the operating system is loaded. It goes solid when it has loaded to a certain point. And then once the wireless application is running, you'll see the wireless um, lights start blinking. So I just saw it start blinking. So we can go to it now, 192.168.11. At Sabai Technology, we send them out with a username of admin and password of password. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Now, because I do a lot of these units, I have some basic settings that, that I like to set up. I'm going to show you some of those. Uh, so first, I want to go ahead and restore. Again, that was admin and password it's asking for. And under backup, I'm going to restore my Sabai setup configuration that I already have for this. So this is going to set it to an IP of 199 or you know, to a network of 199. It's going to 
uh, up the milliwatts on the wireless to 100 milliwatts. You don't want to go a whole lot higher than that because of distortion on these internal antennas. Um, it sets the name of the router, the name of the SSID, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do a lot of these routers, so I do this once and then and then it is uh, set up. So the new address is 199.1. And there we go. It's um, it's set up. The address has been set. The router name, the SSID, the transmit um, wattage has gone up, and we're done. That's it. We use VX Works Killer to wipe out the old operating system. We use TFTP to put on the new operating system we wanted, the new DDWRT, and then we restored settings we wanted or in your case, you would just go on and put in the settings you want for your router. This is a solid router, solid operating system, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks. Bye.